Hello everyone, welcome back to TechGenie. Now while opening your Windows security on Windows 10 or Windows 11, you get an error message that says page not available. Your IT administrator has limited access in some areas of this field. So there can be many reasons behind this problem, like using different kind of security or connected to different kind of network or because of some kind of group policy or registry settings. So let's quickly get started and see what are the best solution in order to fix it. And if all these solutions fix your problem, so make sure you hit the like and subscribe to the channel for more related videos in the future. Now the first thing what you will have to do, click on your Windows search, type GP edit. In this suggestion, you will be getting edit group policy. So you will have to click on it. And the group policy editor will be up. Now in case if you get any kind of error message then probably you are using windows 11 or 10 home edition so for that i have already created a video you can check that video that how to enable this group policy editor so once you come up here from the left in menu option under computer configuration you have to click on administrative template once you click on it then from the right hand side click on windows component double click on it then here you have to look for windows security double click on it and here you will find virus and threat protection double click on it and then you will find hide the virus and threat protection area so make a double click on it and here just make sure that this option should be selected to not configured it should not be selected to enabled or disabled if it's been selected then you have to switch to not configured then click on apply click on ok and now you can close it Click on your Windows search, type CMD, right click on command prompt, click run as admin, click on yes. Now here you have to type GP update space forward slash force. Now this will be updating the policy and once it's been updated, you can check back again if the security is now showing up or not. If it still doesn't show up, then you also need to make sure that you are not using any other kind of third-party security like Malwarebyte, McAfee or Norton. So what you can do, you can click on the drop down at the right hand corner. And if there is any kind of security running, then just make a right click on it and choose quit. Now, if you don't want to use any other kind of security, then what else you can do? Click on your window search again, type appwiz.cpl. Hit the enter key again. Now here you will find all kind of software and application installed on your computer. So you will look for any kind of security like McAfee, Norton, Malwarebyte, whichever you don't want to use. Just select it, make a right click and uninstall it. Once uninstalled, you will have to restart the computer. And now you can check back if the problem has been fixed. If this also doesn't work, then we close it. Now right click on the windows icon go to settings from the left hand menu option click on accounts scroll down and you will find access work or school click on it now here you will find the information like if you are connected to any school or work domain then it will say that you are connected to that particular school or domain so in this case what you will have to do you need to disconnect it however this is not recommended but still if you want to enjoy the security then you either you can disconnect it or you can speak to your school or office network admin let them know that your windows security is not working all right but now in case if this is not the concern this is not the problem the next what you will have to do click on windows search again type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes the black window will be up and now here you have to run few command and all these commands you will be getting in the description so you need to copy them one by one come to the black window make a right click it will be automatically pasted hit the enter key in case if you get any kind of error access is denied then you can skip it no problem you can proceed with the next one and keep doing this until all the command is completed so once all the command are completed Finally, you will have to close everything. Now restart your computer. Login again with your account. 
at this time if you try to open your windows security i am very sure you will not be having any kind of problem so let me quickly open it and you can now see that the virus and threat protection and all kind of security is now working properly without any kind of problem so this is how you can fix this problem and i'm very sure that this will be also working for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye